In problem 19, you have a pair of complementary angles that has a ratio of 7 to 3. So we could sketch this pretty easily, and we have uh, two different ways to approach it. We can approach it in a part-to-part -part, uh, is equal to the whole type of uh, relationship. So if we did this as part-to-part, -part, we know that the, this angle of 90 degrees is broken down into 7 times some common multiplier and 3 times that exact same multiplier. And so in looking at this, we see that the sum of the parts, 3x plus 7x, is equal to the whole, which is 90 degrees. And we can go ahead and combine our like terms, divide by 10, and solve for x. Once we have our solution for x, again, it's not the answer to the problem. It simply allows us to plug in 3 times 9, which is 27 degrees, 7 times 9, which is 63 degrees, and we get our solutions. Okay, so that's using part to part. There's another way that you can solve these ratio type problems using part to whole concept. And so if you know that the ratio of the angles is 7 to 3, what that means is there's a total number of parts of 7 plus 3 or 10. So the larger angle represents 7 out of those 10 parts, and the smaller angle represents 3 out of 10 of those whole parts. So here we're looking at the part to whole ratio. So if we take the ratio of each part to the whole, which we know because it's a complementary angle, is 90 degrees. What we can do is we can solve for each of these 3 tenths of 90. 10 goes into 90 9 times 3, which is 27 degrees. 10 goes into 99 times 7, which is 63 degrees. So we could solve it in this fashion as well.